Welcome to IG Doors, supplier to the new build and social house and refurbishment sectors for over 35 years. Today I'm going to guide you on how to fit an IG composite door direct into masonry. Unwrap your door and check the ironmongery pack to ensure all the parts are present. Check the sizes of your door in relation to your opening along with the handing of the door. Fit the handles and the cylinder. For ease of alignment, it's best not to fully tighten the handle or cylinder screws until all parts are in place. Centre up the complete door set into the opening with the sill on a good bed of silicon to prevent water ingress. Take care that the sill is fully supported with no more than a 25mm minimum overhang. Open door to 90 degrees and prop up with a timber wedge. Level the sill using packers under the sill when necessary. It's vital for it to function properly to ensure that the door is fitted plumb and square in the opening. Using the wedge under the open door, lift or lower to level up the hinge side jam in the open and forwards and backwards. Using a long level, plumb your hinge side jam side to side and temporarily pack in place. Now that your sill is level and the hinge side jam is plumb level in all planes, you can start to fix the door into the opening. The top and bottom jam fixing screws must be positioned 150mm to 200mm from the weld or sill. Start at the top hinge side by drilling the frame with the high speed steel drill bit, then finish with a masonry bit and fix the screw directly through the frame into the masonry. Be careful not to over tighten. Repeat at the bottom of the hinge side jam between 150mm and 200mm up from the sill. You can now remove the wedge from under the door and check the door closes properly against the lock side jam. The lock side jam can be adjusted with packing under the sill and or between the jam and the masonry to achieve an even gap along the top and bottom of the door and so that the door closes flush with the inside face of the frame. The lock side jam can now be fixed at the top and bottom. With the door closed, check the gaps around the door, using packers behind the frame to even the gaps. Once even gaps are achieved, complete the fixing of the frame with at least two more screws per jam at a maximum of 600mm centers. To ensure a good seal around the frame, fill around the frame with expanding foam and wait for it to cure for approximately one hour. Cut off the excess foam and use an external sealant 
to achieve a neat finish around the complete opening.